uh, Mr. Stalwart Shine, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 3 in Electronics and Communication Branch of Engineering in ESC 2021. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, it seems from our ES Academy, you have availed uh, uh, prelims uh, online test series and also the integrators yes, program integrators program so please tell yes, us sir. how this online test series uh, was very instrumental in our success yes sir actually uh, i am currently working as a je in indian railways okay and uh, uh, during, during that limited course of time which is available to me this test series was really helpful in practicing the different solutions and uh, uh, rehearsing myself like for the preparation uh, the level of my preparation i was able to know through this mock test since uh, i was able to tell the all india level ranks everything and also with the solutions video solutions i was able to clarify much of my doubts regarding the concepts also very much easily so in that way the test series was really helpful also with the general studies uh, paper paper one test series Right. That was also very crucial for me in scoring some good marks. And apart from that, it seems you also availed the integrators program also. So what is the feedback on our integrators program? Sir, so that is uh, one of the classic programs, I would say, because uh, that was actually the one which boosted my confidence in interview preparation, especially the mock interview which they conducted. So they clearly pointed out the pros and cons in my uh, interview and what all the areas I can improve, everything clearly. So I was able to face the interview with much, with much more confidence. So that is definitely one of the best. Sir. Right. Uh, Mr. Stahl, what may you know your educational background? When did you pass out your BTEC? And which college are you from? Yes, sir. Actually, yes, sir, I have passed out uh, my BTEC from in 2017 from uh, Madras Institute of Technology, Grumpet. Okay, 2017 you passed out. Then what have you been doing all these years? You said you are working for uh, Indian Railways as a JE. Yes, sir. When did you join Railways? Uh, 2020, sir. 2020, okay. Uh, Mr. Yes, Stalwart Shine, uh, actually when did you conceive this idea of uh, preparing for this engineering service examination, seriously? Sir, actually, uh, it was suggested, suggested by my colleague, actually, okay. uh, who is also an uh, ESC uh, cleared uh, candidate. So he suggested me to take up this exam as soon as I have joined the railways. So That's through him only I came to know about this one. So okay. I started my preparation. In uh, my first attempt in 2020, I was not able to clear. So, so you, you did not qualify for attempt. the interview in the first attempt? Yes, sir. This is your second attempt. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a very remarkable achievement, uh, Mr. Stalwart Shine, in your second attempt securing under rank 3. Uh, right, uh, Mr. Stalwart Shine, in your view, to crack such a rank of a single digit in the engineering services examination, so for a serious candidate, so how many months of preparation will be appropriate? Sir, uh, for in my case, uh, I would be able to suggest because yeah, uh, you can tell your working. experience. Like. Yes, sir. as per my experience, uh, a span of six months would would be sufficient, sir. Uh, sincere preparation, sincere and dedicated preparation of six months would be sufficient. Okay, six months. Uh, but uh, you have about uh, what you call the mains also very required to develop a lot of writing skills, time management, and all. So overall. Uh, can yes. we say that six months preparation is uh, sufficient? Of course, it is a student uh, depending parameter. If you have strong fundamental basis, I think that this may be sufficient. Otherwise, you require something more, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Stalwart Shine, uh, while preparing for this uh, ESC examination, up to prelims examination, did you focus only on the prelims uh, part of this examination? Otherwise, apart from prelims portion, did you also focus some part of the mains also? 
no sir not exactly after the prelims only i started preparing for mains actually and uh, i was uh, acting this ace uh, ace conventional books ace engineering conventional books which i was using for reference and uh, i was just practicing the questions myself so you have practiced the from our ace so, uh, what to call mains uh, booklets for yes, this exam conventional books right yes sir. so that means the preparation of practice and all you uh, start only after completion of this prelims examination so serious yes, have been around 3 months of time am i right yes sir around 3 months of time right see in your uh, prelims uh, we have that uh, paper 1 general studies and paper 2 the technical uh, many people feel uh, many students feel somewhat uh, what you call uh, difficulty in this uh, gs part because we have 10 topics yes, there sir. so what was your uh, case did you prepare all the 10 topics with equal emphasis no sir uh, not all the topics but which and all were uh, crucial like uh, some important topics i was able to cover so can you name those uh, few important topics so that will be useful for the other aspirants yes sir actually project management project management and then and then uh, material science since it is also included in our technical portion also mm. ICT, so also, science, ICT also ICT also mathematics mathematics yes sir ICT also definitely ICT. Yeah. so which topics you have left over if at all uh, i didn't focus much on uh, engineering principles and uh, design safety that parameters i did not focus much so and design ethics safety, also i did not uh, uh, standards and quality and you have this uh, ethics current affairs uh, current affairs just a brief outline of uh, day to day activities not okay. in depth that's fine no, stalwart sir finally to conclude out of the 10 topics how many topics you prepared seriously and how many topics you left out uh serious preparation would be around for some uh, five topics sir. five topics. remaining five i did not focus much but right. uh, through the yes, through the questions but i was able to get some idea uh, some clarity about the concepts right okay good uh, after uh, completion of this prelims examination when you compete with the key released by coaching centers so how many marks you were getting in the prelims gs part i was getting around uh, in the prelims gs part i was getting around uh, 102 sir yeah okay 100 marks means uh, something good achievement uh, mr stalwart sir anything 100 plus is somewhat relatively good marks in the gs paper uh, thank you sir right right and uh, coming to the mains sir, i said that uh, speed and accuracy they matter a lot in the ies mains examination so to develop that uh, speed and accuracy how you used to follow the methodology in your mains preparation so in mains actually i was focusing more on the problems rather than the theoretical part so that i will be able to spare a lot of time time in the uh, writing the exam and in some places where i need to write theoretical uh, questions i used to plan it accordingly so that i can at the end i used to plan it okay no on the day of the actual examination of the mains paper 1 paper 2 out of 8 you have to select any five questions so actually how many questions you have attempted out of the five uh, almost four questions i have uh, attempted each paper okay yes sir yeah after completion of this uh, mains examination uh, did you ever expect that uh, you will be getting the interview call uh i have some sort of confidence that i will be getting sort selected of confidence, sir, right? but uh, not fully yeah because you got all india rank 3 that's what i am specifically focusing on this point right because uh, this exam is uh, somewhat uncertain and also relative competition yes, uh, just because of i'm uh, based on your own performance you can't come to any conclusion isn't it yes sir definitely right. so okay True. so how was your interview experience right you took from us uh, interview guidance program right you attend some mock uh, interviews also when you face the actual interview in the upsc uh, how was your experience can you can you share one or two interesting questions from your interview 
Yes, sir. Actually, uh, the panel members, when they entered itself initially, they made it really, really comfortable for me to answer all the forthcoming questions. Okay. And uh, the chat person started with the basic physics questions only. Like uh, the first question which was asked to me was, uh, what is work done? And I just mentioned the basic uh, definition of work and force into displacement. No, very, and then very, very he, any interesting question I'm asking. Uh, that you want to share with was the, Sorry? Yes, sir, actually, they uh, asked about my experience since I was from railway. I have gone training during this uh, one year in railway. I, they asked about the new technologies which are being introduced in railways and uh, how uh, they are being implemented. Uh, that part they were asking. So I was explaining about the train collision avoidance system, which was recently seen in the news also. Our Honorable Railway Minister uh, was, uh, in fact, experiencing that uh, new technology. He was uh, also uh, implementing it in the adoption of the new technology. So I was just explaining that uh, because system, train collision avoidance system, how it was right, working. Right. Okay, so that understood. was one of the... Right, good. Right. Anyway, finally, you got uh, good marks. That's what uh, happy ending in this. Uh, Mr. Stalwart Shen, during your preparation, did you focus only on this uh, coaching material? Otherwise, apart from coaching material, did you refer to any textbook also additionally? Uh, no, sir, not exactly text textbook. When I have any uh, some doubts or something which needs to be clarified, I used to check in uh, Google only. And through Google, I was able to find some online solutions. Um, mostly from the textbooks only. In Google, online textbooks only I was referring. Right. OK, fine. Uh, Mr. Stalwart Shain. You got a successful uh, what you call attempt in this engineering service examination with all India rank three. So from this uh, successful experience, uh, can you share a few points with other aspirants of the ES exam in general and your electronic students in particular? Yes, sir. Actually, uh, focusing on the key topics is uh, will save a lot of time in the preparation because uh, when we go through the different set of question papers and pattern. We will get an uh, abstract idea on what might be the core concepts and uh, uh, key points which we need to study and remember. So revising them constantly will be really helpful in clear, cracking the exam. And also focusing on the interview guidance program is really uh, uh, mandatory, I would say. Right. Because that could be one of the key players in uh, Securing so a good rank. You mean to say integrators is one of the interview entry is also one of the key uh, factor there. Uh, for example, in our case uh, in the interview, yes, uh, how many questions you would have answered correctly, percentage wise, approximately? Uh, approximately 70% I would have answered. 70% of questions you answered uh, effectively in the interview. Yes. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, one last question, Stal, but uh, see. You said that revision is one of the key factor there. So for revision purpose, you have prepared any short notes while preparing the subjects? Yes, definitely. Maintaining a separate notebook for revision is very much essential for cracking this exam. Right. Very good. So, so then and there, any key formulas or points, if you remember, which made it better to make notes. Yes. So very handy for the revision purpose. So very good, uh, very good, Stal uh, Watshai. What are your parents, your father, mother? Uh, my father is, yes, my father is working as a technical supervisor in uh, air conditioning based uh, company, and my mother is working, mother is working as a teacher in right. uh, school. Very good. They should also be congratulated. Convey our best wishes to your parents. I think they must be very supportive. Yes, of sir, definitely. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, Paul Watt, uh, very nice to talk to you. I once again congratulate you and thank you for sharing some of your uh, valuable thoughts through this interview. And I wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you, Paul